I'm Miriam Knight, and I want to tell you about this beautiful little book from Shambhala Publications called The Art of Peace. It is the story of Morihei Ueshiba, the founder of Aikido, the, the martial art. It's a mind-body discipline that he called The Art of Peace, which offers a nonviolent way to victory in the face of conflict. This is a beautifully illustrated edition, and it contains many of the sayings of Ueshiba uh, collected from his students and uh, followers. Uh, and it also includes illustrations of his calligraphy, beautifully done. What I found so fascinating about the book was, and knowing absolutely nothing about Aikido, was that it's called the art of peace. And so, for example, uh, Ueshiba says, to injure an opponent is to injure yourself. To control aggression without inflicting injury is the art of peace. And as you read through what is essentially his teachings on this martial art, what you learn is applicable to every aspect of your life, to um, learning how to master yourself as a way to mastering the world around you. I'm just going to read a couple more um, passages because they're so wonderful. Oh, and the book comes with a CD um, that has Stephen uh, Stephen's reading Moshiba and his teachings. Um, Stevens lived in Japan for 35 years and is a professor of Buddhist studies um, and also an Aikido instructor at Tohoku, Tohoku Fukushi, Tohoku Fukushi University. I hope I even approximated that. So, a few more um, quotes. Fat, yeah, this is for us oldies. Fathom the essences of the art of peace, and age disappears. You only feel old when you lose your way and stray from the path. How about, the art of peace is a form of prayer that generates light and heat. Forget about your little self. Detach yourself from objects, and you will radiate light and warmth. Light is wisdom. Heat is compassion. And last but not least, we can no longer rely on the external teachings of Buddha, Confucius, and Christ. The era of organized religion controlling every aspect of life is over. No single religion has all the answers. Construction of shrine and temple buildings is not enough. Establish yourself as a living Buddha image. We all should be transformed into goddesses of compassion or victorious Buddhas. A lot of wisdom in this little book. The Art of Peace, by edited by John Stevens from Shambhala Press. This has been a video book review from New Consciousness Review. I'm Miriam Knight, and I invite you to visit our website at ncreview.com. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Goodbye.